Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and I'm going to talk today about how to use the AntConc keyword list tool. Now, this is a quite a complex tool, uh, so I'll try and explain the basic features here. Okay, first we'll need a corpus that we're going to be investigating. So, uh, I'm going to be using the same corpus I've been using for uh, several of these tutorials, which is 12 texts from an English communication textbook. So I'll load those in. Now, uh, like with the word list tool, which I explained in a different video, uh, at the bottom here we've got a search box and we can search for words and so on here uh, once the keyword list is generated. And we have things like treat all data as lowercase. Um, but uh, let's just hit start and see what happens. Now, immediately it says there's no reference corpus files available and we must specify a reference corpus in the Keyword Preferences menu. Now, the reason for this is that the keyword list is basically finding unusually frequent words in the target corpus here. And when, it, when I say unusually frequent, the tool needs to have some reference uh, of what is considered normal. And uh, this can be any corpus. Um, it's usually uh, a large corpus of general English and by using that as a reference corpus we can find out which words are unusually frequent in our target corpus compared with general English. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is uh, go to the uh, keyword list uh, keyword preferences here and load in a reference corpus. Before I do that let me just explain that we have various options for the display as I've explained in other tools, we can treat all data as lower case, as we had with the word list tool. We can treat case in sword. Uh, and here are the most important uh, preferences. So the first, we have a keyword generation method, a statistical method to decide which words are unusually frequent or not. Now we have here the log likelihood statistical measure, uh, which is default and would be recommended. And there's also chi-squared uh, for people who want to use that. Now, there's also a threshold value. Um, at the moment, it's going to show the all the words down to the average value. But we can have um, all the values or the top 100 keywords or the top 1,000 keywords. So let's select all values for this demonstration. Now, we can also um, select negative keywords, uh, which are unusually infrequent words. In the target corpus. Uh, I won't show those now, I'll show those in a moment. Finally we come to the reference corpus options and here we can um, load in the raw uh, reference corpus files or a word list from the reference corpus. So let me first use uh, raw files. So I'm going to use uh, the brown corpus which is a very famous corpus um, of general English. So I'm going to select uh, the brown corpus here it appears at the bottom, and just apply. Okay, so let's now hit start and see what happens. Now it first says AntConc needs to jump to the word list tool to generate a word list, and I've explained that tool in a previous video. So let's say OK. So what it has done now is it's flicked to the word list tool and it's generated a word list and you'll notice that these are the same results as a previous video explaining the word list tool. And then it's jumped back to the keyword list and it's now processed the reference corpus as you can see at the bottom here and generated a set of keywords like this. Now in the keyword list tool it's by default or, uh, sorted by keyness and you can see that the most uh, key word in our target corpus is narrator which is not surprising as it's a very common word in this textbook and it has a keyness value of 671.503 which is very very high. Uh, you can find out um, statistically significant values by looking at the statistical measure in a book. And we can go down and we find all these other words. And because we've um, shown all keywords, then we can go right down to zero, which is at the bottom. It's not actually zero. I think the um, it's just gone below the number of decimal places being shown. 
At the top of the screen you'll see here that the keyword types before the cut is 2516 and the keywords after is the same here because we haven't put any threshold value on that. Now as with the uh, word list tool we can search for a word for example narrator we can search for that uh, we can do wildcard searches or regular expression searches for example be star and I can find now bedard as a name that was in the corpus and go down to benefits believes because and so on so we can use the search box as with other tools if we go to the advanced uh, search we can see the same options as we had in the word list tool so I won't explain that here now sometimes you won't have access to the full reference corpus and you'll only have a word list for example from the reference corpus if you have that we can still generate keywords and I'll show you how now so first we'll go back up to the tool preferences and we'll go down to the reference corpus options and we can see here to use the raw files or to use a word list so I'm going to select the word list option here I'll clear the, the uh, brown corpus raw files and now I just need to navigate to a word list so uh, here's the word list for the brown corpus and let's just open that and you'll see it appear at the bottom here so let me show you what that uh, what the brown corpus word list is supposed to look like so you can see here it's just uh, the output of the word list tool of Ankonk uh, with the rank on the left, the frequency in the middle, and the word itself on the right. Uh, to, to create this you'll need to delete the two headers at the top of the word list file that show the total number of types and tokens. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, word list. Let's apply that and uh, now uh, we are back in the main display and we can now uh, start again and you'll see that the results are identical to before uh, using this uh, word list instead of the raw files the last thing I'll show you is um, what happens if we uh, change the keyword generation measure Let's change it to chi squared. We're going to have all the values and let's apply that and start again. And we can see that the values themselves, the keyness values are different, but the ranking is fairly similar, showing that the statistical, statistical measure doesn't massively change the results at the top here. Although, as I said earlier, the log likelihood um, statistical measure is recommended. So that's the uh, keyword list. Thank you.